like your inner Ray Star I know. Wars. I like it. Isn't it great? My hair woman is a blooming genius. Shannon. I wish I could take credit. I was just in the toilet with like a bunch of fans uh, because I went to the toilet with all the fans and we were all waiting in line and everyone was discussing my hair and I was like, I can't lie, I didn't do it. I wish I had. Anyway, how are we? Good, good. She is awesome. From the first season, episode one, she was sweet. She was kind of innocent and now she's this total badass. How do you like that elevator? I love how we say she was sweet and innocent and she entered with her like shotgun, like, bah! first scene is sweet and innocent. But I agree, yes, I agree. Yes. She's always had the fire in her belly, shall we say. Um, but yes, I think that um, I'm very fortunate to have played a character that was like at a very impressionable age. Um, you discover so much in your early 20s. You, you change and evolve every single year. So I think that's why Wavely has had so many like character arcs because you're constantly discovering things about yourself as a young woman. Um, and I like reminisce over my like young Waverly times. I'm like, oh, she was so naive, and now she's learning the you know the, the harsh truths of the world and kind of like becoming a woman. Um, but yeah, I I'm so fortunate to have been able to play that. More than any other character, she seems to have that growth yeah. throughout. Absolutely. So does the script still surprise you of where she's going? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Uh, every every single every single script, script I get, I'm like, oh, I know what's coming. I got this, and then I'm like, whoa, curveball. That's uh, what Emily does so well. She never, ever, ever writes what you think she's going to write, and I think that's why our fans are so passionate and invested ultimately. How uh, how is Waverly taking the uh, dynamic with her mom coming into the picture so suddenly after so long? It's hard, you know. Um, it's not hard. It's wonderful that her mother is back. I think she loves her mom more than she loves anyone, really, from when she was a child. Like, listen, she left when she was very, very young, but that relationship she had, I think, was um, so strong and so had such an impact on her. Because, oh, why is there a pot there's a potato on the table? You absolute geniuses. <laughs> My potato. <laughs> Back to the serious answer <laughs> with the potato. Uh, so, basically, um, no, I think that it's the part that's really hard to take is the fact that why Nona didn't tell her that she'd been in contact with her. I think that comes as a really, really big blow. Um, and poor little Waverly's heart is crushed once again. Uh, but without saying too much, I think that what Mama Earth coming in throws a lot of spanners in the world and um, and really helps Waverly grow even more, ultimately. Which relationship is your favorite? Um, and if any that you want to see in the future, which one would you would you like to see people together? Say that one more time. Which people would you like to see paired together in relationships? Who do you ship in the show? As like romantic relationships? Yeah. Well, I'm like a big Doc and Wynonna fan. Like, I mean, I know they are together, but I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Just be together already. <laughs> you're so good and you're so like they have so much chemistry. Like even in episode one, I was just like, this is so sexy. When they with the knife and they're like, I'm like, woo! It's hot. It's hot, you guys. Um real, real, real sexy, sexy stuff. So yes, I think that I'm a b i am I will always say that, but I also kind of want Doc and Jeremy to get together. <laughs> that would be super fun. <laughs> Why not? Listen, I'm glad I'm not the only one we're that fluid that. Yeah. in the show. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We can just have a go, right? Yeah. So. What about your ship? You have Weha. Um, Cat was talking about how it's going to be domestic Weha this season. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, yeah. I love uh, where Weha sits this year. I think that we're entering into the next stage of their relationship, you know, year on. And uh, we found out all the past stuff and then we become stronger for it I think is, is ooh, flashy flashy <laughs> that's okay anyway uh, yeah so um, way hot they they just have uh, such an understanding now as you uh, as you do when you get into a year into a relationship um, that strengthens them 
Um, I think that what I love most about it is this year it's uh, a two way thing. Like, there's Waverly supports Nicole just as much as Nicole supports Waverly, which is nice because I feel like we're finding our place within the relationship and um, Waverly's becoming more confident in the relationship as a, in a, you know, she's becoming older and stronger and, and, and just, just stepping into the shoes of what she needs to be for Nicole and I'm, I'm really happy that she manages to support her in a very turbulent time. Yeah, what about you, well, you, <laughs> Waverly and Winona because she's going to find out this big secret and how is that going to affect them? Yeah, I think that uh, at the beginning, Waverly is so hurt and so heartbroken. But as always with the show, there are bigger fish to fry. And we, you know, I think that Waverly, what she does so well is she's um, she forgives. Uh, she's constantly striving to understand and forgive the people she loves. So as much as it hurts, she has to swallow a lot of that because she just wants to be there for everyone else and it's not about her. I know. She's such a good person, man. You know, you're like, oh God, how, how are you that much of a good human being? Always constantly inspired by her. Do you think this season is when she really comes into her own, maybe? Yes. Yes. And if, if we get to season four, I will say the same thing then, I'm sure. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you.